Hey guys, what's up? What's up? It's Perpikowski here. Um, I have... This may be possibly the best pellet gun on the market for the price at this time. This is the Benjamin Titan GP. It is also a nitro piston. That's some of Crossman's and Titan and Benjamin's new technology. It's a nitro piston. It has it says take bigger game with 22 caliber, more power than the 177 cal. It has here. It's got a little picture of a squirrel, a rabbit, a coon, and a little coyote. Um. It says it's got Jim Shockey on it got Jim Shockey on it. I figure if he's enough, if he is getting paid enough to endorse it, then it's probably a good product. Um, it comes with a center point 4x32 scope. Um, ambidextrous hardwood stock, two-stage adjustable trigger it says. 22 caliber equals more downrange energy plus greater knockdown power is what it says on the box here. It also says patent pending technology powered by nitro piston instead of a spring, 70% less noise, minimal recoil, and improved accuracy. Believe it or not, I got this gun from Walmart. It was very good. It was a very good price for. I feel it was a very good price for the product that you get. Um. Like I said, it is a nitro piston. It's their new, newer technology. And um, we'll flip the box over, and on the back, it has a little illustration of the nitro piston system. I don't know how well. Yeah, there you go. It has a little illustration of the nitro piston system. Then some words about it, and it says it's 70% less noise. This is the Titan GP. And this is the quiet break barrel competitor. So it's saying that the Titan GP is like better than like a Gamma Whisper is what it's saying. It's of the shock here. You you notice dissipates a lot farther than here, but um, that could be just a drawing. I don't know. Uh, I do think it is quieter. I don't have another um. I don't have another quiet break barrel, supposedly quiet break barrel to compare it to, but I have a Crossman Quest uh, 177, and that's loud, and this is much quieter than that. And this is, by the time you hear it, this thing hits. There is, it is fast, it is it hard hitting. I shot my burn barrel, it almost went through a burn barrel. And that's something uh, your normal 177 can't do. Um, let's go in and we'll go ahead and open up the box. That's what it looks like inside the box. The barrel is in this thing. And then the gun is in this. And there's two blocks of foam packing it in. The scope is in this thing. Some stuff to soak up your... Moistures, your moisturousness. Um, here's the book it came with. The owner's manual. That's a pretty good owner's manual. You can tell it's not cheap. Uh, cheap translated Chinese. It's in nice, understandable English. Um, then there's this. How to cock a brake barrel. Then with the scope came this, the center point, the scope's owner's manual, which I found very handy for mounting the scope because they did a little bit of changes with the risers. They put like a little spacer in there so that it locks into a place on the receiver so that your risers don't move. Then your risers came in this box along with a little Allen key came in this box. Alright, let's get to the gun.
Alright, this, my friends, is the Titan GP Benjamin. This is a... I'm impressed. I haven't even sighted it in, and I'm impressed. It says in the owner's manual, it says there may be a uh, break-in period of 100 rounds, so I plan on putting somewhere close to that 100 round mark in it before I start messing with the scope. Now I was going to take this scope off here, it is not adjustable. I was going to put my BSA from my TSD SD07 on here, and I can't because this receiver is too low and I need high risers and these are low and the one that are on that's on the other scope are medium and I need highs so even the mediums aren't high enough to clear this the objective is too big um other than that this is a very clear scope there is no mill dots on it it's just solid and then there's the smaller finer crosshairs which was kinda disappointing but I personally like mill dot um, it says here, it says, it'll focus, it says model number and then uh, 22 caliber. It does have the thumb hole stock with the sort of the pistol grip. Um, this is very, very comfortable, very comfortable to hold, very comfortable to aim. I'm impressed with the thumb hole stock, that was a good idea. Um, these two are your body screws. It says periodically check those. I have experience with the Quest, where those, my Crossman Quest, those had came loose and I couldn't hit anything. Um, I didn't know they were loose. Was checking stuff and they were loose. So once I tightened them up, I was hitting again. And uh, it's just important to keep those tight. Um, it does come with a scope, this scope cover thingy, and it's just the cheap what you get with a cheap scope. Um, it's got a ventilated, I guess you could call it, recoil pad, rubber recoil pad, that white bar thing which I don't necessarily like or I don't know why, the, why that's in there. But let's go to the trigger assembly. So far a lot of people I've seen online complain about the trigger. I think the trigger's fine. I think it's okay. Of course, I've only shot maybe 20 rounds through it, but... So it is a plastic trigger, which was odd. Plastic trigger guard, here's your safety. Off safe, on safe. Off safe, on safe. Um, this makes the gun look like it does. This makes the gun, this gives the gun character. This is the sound suppressor thing. My jigger whatchamacallit. It's not really a silencer, it's not really a suppressor. I guess it's a uh, dampener? I don't, I don't know. I guess it's a dampener. And yeah, so there are some Allen screws on here that look like they could be taken off and I'm gonna guess this slides off, but I'll have a video on that later once I feel like risking wrecking my gun. Um. Yeah, so that's about it, I guess. Um, one thing I gotta tell you guys is that I found this gun online nowhere. Nowhere online have I found this gun. I found 177 Titan GPs with 950 feet per second, but no 22 Titan GPs up to 950 uh, feet per second. All the Titan GPs online that are in 22 are close to 600 feet per second. This is 950 feet per second with lead-free pellets. And let me tell you, they got a heck of a hit. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, I give the gun I give the gun a 10 of 10 so far. I'll uh, be back on with a shooting video, I'll shoot a couple different things, and I'll let you know what my rating stays out there. As of now, it's a 10 of 10. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys later.